Hi there, and welcome to this Repree walkthrough. I'm Colin, and today I'm going to take you through all of the systems of Repree, from signing up to sending a document for electronic signing and completing that signing session. First things first, you're going to come to Repree.com. If you haven't created your account yet, click on Sign Up. If you see your real estate association here, click on that button to create your account. This will ensure access to your board forms. If your board is not yet affiliated with Repree, enter your information here, agree to the terms of service, and register. Doing so will get you started on your seven day free trial, at the end of which you'll be able to subscribe to the plan that is right for you. Already have a Repree account set up? Click on the login button, click on your real estate association button if you see it there, or enter your username and password here, so I'm going to enter one of our demo environments here. Now we've rented our Repree homepage. This is where you're going to do most of your work here on the home tab, where you'll be dealing with your clients, your transactions, and any documents you add to their file. You also have this real estate specific calendar, able to add activities by real estate category here as well as your activities tab, where you're able to create activities checklists, checking activities off as you complete them. We've got our email marketing here, which is coming soon. And for those of you with associated boards, you can come into this forms tab and find those board forms here. Now the first thing that you want to do once you log into Repre is click on the profile button. Come in here and fill in all of your information, as well as your brokerage information, if you like, and click Save Profile. You also have the option to add a picture here, to add an email signature, change your account details, such as your plan or the credit card that we have on file, and you can cancel your subscription at any time here. Now, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is add your clients. Click on that Add Client button here. Enter their information. At a minimum, we suggest the first name and the last name, as well as that email address. For an individual client, you just click Save All Contact Information here. If there is a secondary contact that shares a lot of the same information with your first contact, you can copy to New Contact. If there's a secondary contact that does not share much information, you can click Add Contact and simply add that secondary contact here and save all contact information. By clicking on that client, all of their contact information will appear here as well as that secondary contact. If you've made any mistakes that you want to change, for example, capitalizing their name here, you can either click on the Edit button or the details button, and you'll be taken right back into that contact information. Save all contact information. Next, you wanna add your transaction. Typically, agents will use the property address for the property they're working on, but it can be anything that you want. Select the type of deal, a listing, buyer, or marketing, as well as the status active lead archive and other. If you need to make any changes here, just hover over that transaction name and click on the info button. Next, you're gonna add documents to your client file. Click on the add document button. For those of you affiliated with one of our partners, with forms available, you can click on the launch forms button here and you'll be taken into your board forms or you can add files from your computer. Select that document from your computer. Click open. You can click the start upload button here, which will begin the upload for all documents, or you can click on the individual document and start the upload by clicking on the start button. Once that upload is complete, you can close out of that add document window 
You'll see your document here within your client file and you're ready to tag and send for signatures. So come up here and click on the ratify button. Select your signers by checking the box here. You can add yourself as a signer as well as your client. Select the routing order that you would like the document to be sent in. For the most part, your signer type will remain on signer, but you do have a few other options in here. Checking carbon copy will just send a copy of the document after the signing session is complete. You can choose in-person signer if your signer will be using your device to complete the signing session. Or you can select agent if you'll be sending that document to another agent and want them to be able to add their own signers and place signatures as well. In this case, let's, let's just send to our signers. You also have the option here to add an additional signer. You can choose from your address book or you can enter their information here. We're not going to do that today. Now you come down to the subject and message that will be sent to your signer. You can make any changes here that you like. And now we're going to drag the document that we'd like signed from transaction documents to documents for signing. Just drag and drop from the right column to the left. You can see here that you're also able to reorder the document. And when you're ready, tag document for signatures. Now you're in your tagging screen. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see all of the signers that you've added to the signing session. You can select all, you can select none, and you can select those signers individually. Whoever you have selected up here will have one tag dropped into the document when you drag and drop it in. For example, if you select all of your signers, come down where you need those signatures, and place it in the document, you'll see two placed, one for each signer. Now the sign here, initial here, and date time all require at least one signer be selected. Let's place those elements as well. We'll come up here and have our signers initial that first page. For the remaining three, you do not need to select a signer. For example, if we want to change the money deposit here, we can drag a strike through in, drag a text field, enter the dollar amount, and if there's something that we'd like our signer to acknowledge with a checkbox, we can place that in the document as well. Most often this is used for yes, no questions within documents. If you just want to draw attention to a certain part of the document. If you select a signer and drag a text field into the document, that text field will be assigned to that signer and they will be asked to enter text into the text field. Just something to keep in mind. You'll also notice that you're able to change the style and size of the font and you're able to delete pages from within the document by clicking on this X here. You can also jump between pages by clicking on each page. Once you've placed all of the tags that you'd like within the document, you're ready to send that document to your client for signatures. That sent document will be shown here. When originally sent, it will show in green. Now your client is going to go to their inbox. They will receive an email. Click on that email. Here they'll see that message that you've written to them and they'll click start signing session. The documents that you've added will be listed here. Your client will agree to sign electronically and start electronic signing. For those clients that have signed before, their signature will be here. And they have the option to either draw the signature or to type it. You will want to ask them to follow this example here to get the best result from their signature. Once ready, click Save Signature and Initials, and your client is ready to start their guided signing session. They will click Start Signing, and they'll be guided through the document. So first, they'll be guided to that checkbox that we placed. 
You can see the new content has been entered here. Next, they'll be asked to enter text into that text box that we assigned to our signer. They'll be guided to that crossed out content. Add their initials. The timestamp will be here next to that signature. And they will place their signature by clicking here. Once complete, your client is asked to save the signed documents. And now that document is off to our second signer. So if we come back into Repray and refresh our screen, click on our client and our transaction, we'll see that that document for electronic signing is now in orange, letting us know that at least one party has signed. Now throughout the signing session, you're able to track your signer's progress. So you can come to that document for electronic signing, hover over it and click info. This is going to be all the basic information about that signing session. And you also have the sign audit. This will track your signer throughout their signing session. If they allow their location, that will be shown here, as well as in the location tab. So we can see here that our first signer was informed, viewed the documents, saved their signature, started signing and finished their signing session. And now that session has been sent to our second signer here, who has received an email. You can close out of that sign on it. And let's complete that session with our second signer. You can see now that that document for electronic signing has become gray, meaning that we've completed those documents. And you'll also see the signed version of those PDFs in your client file. You and your client will all receive a final email with those completed documents attached. You're also able to hover over that document for electronic signing, click info, and come into the sign on it once again to click on this save session certificate, which just gives you all of the details of your signing session including an image of those contracts, your signer's signature, their IP address, and their location. Now there are cases when you're going to need to make changes to those signing sessions, so let's quickly walk through that. You're not able to make any changes to any signing session that has been completed, but active signing sessions can be adjusted. So click on the document for electronic signing, and you enter our edit window here. So you can either edit the tags, selecting your signer, adding additional tags to your document. In the case of adding additional tags, you'll just place them in the document and then close out of the signing session. You do not need to resend at this point, that will send a second email. You also can edit the signers and documents by clicking on the Edit Signers and Documents button here. And you're able to make changes. For example, you can change the email address by clicking on this Edit Pencil here, coming in and changing the email address. And then you'll click that Resend button. You're also able to add additional documents to that signing session, tagging that, those new documents for signatures as well. So once you've completed that signing session, you may need to email those documents off to the other agent, and you can do that right from here. So click on the email button, enter the other agent here, select those signed documents. You can enter any message here that you'd like for that other agent, and then send that email. And there you have it, all of the main systems within Repre from signing up to sending a document for electronic signing. If you have any questions, please feel free to click on this help tab, enter your email address and post, and post a question or chat with us. For more tutorials, please click on our support page and search tutorial content. Welcome to Reprieve.